would go by the launch pads, and I mean, it was 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and we were building on 34. We were told that morning that we were going to have lunch, and during lunch, there's going to be a launch off of uh, Complex 20. Now, that's a, it was about uh, four miles or five, maximum of five miles away. And so as a surveyor, I had a transit. And the transit, I could set it up on a tripod, and I could zoom it in and read it. I got smart and got up on this uh, J Tower. It was a Titan, Titan 1. It was their first launch off of Complex 20. So I'm watching, and all of a sudden, ignition. I could see the red flames, and then all of a sudden the flames went away, and I look up. Well, that rocket had turned. When I look back, I'm looking at the nose cone. Well, the rocket had gone like this, and I'm going, no. So I look back, and then I'm seeing the red flames. The tail was coming over the nose, and I'm going, this is not good. So I jump, and when I jump, I hit the sand, and I rolled. And when I rolled, I stood up, and when I stood up, that thing blew, and the next thing was whoo, whoo, whoo. The sonic wave, that wave hit me, almost knocked me over. Then the heat, I mean, the heat just came. Whoo, and I'm going, holy smokes. And, I've, and I really got scared about my brother because he was another 30 yards or 50 yards closer to the explosion. And now, by that time, stuff was spraying all over. The palmettas were catching on fire. And I run over to Danny, and I say, Danny, are you all right? And he goes, yeah, but golly, that was close. The construction supervisor, he's a big man, 6'4", 280 pounds. And he was uh, running around and around a pickup truck. And when it exploded, the adrenaline he went under the pickup truck. And the next thing we hear is him yelling because we couldn't see him and everybody was really dumbfounded as to what in the hell happened and the uh, stuff was everywhere and people were wanting to pick up mementos and I'm going, no, no, you want to leave that stuff alone. And, and we're hearing Heavy, who was the supervisor, uh, he's yelling, help, help. And we go, what is it, Heavy? Come on out. The, the rockets exploded. He said, I can't move. We tried to lift up the truck, and he was such a big man, and he had forced himself in so far, we had to get a forklift to come lift it up so we could get Heavy out. I'm Roy Tharp. That's my untold story from the Rocket Ranch.